Hi, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing my May TBR and some new releases for the month of May. So now that we're getting into the month of May, I feel like first of all for May, there's a lot of new releases. And also in May, I definitely want to start getting into some more like summer type books since we're getting closer to summer now. There's a lot of books that I just like save because I think they'd be fun to read in the summer. I'm hoping to start doing that this month because I definitely want to try to get through a lot of those books that I've had on my shelf for months now. So I'm going to go ahead and start this video off with the new releases for May. These are all books that are obviously coming out in this upcoming month. I'm not going to necessarily read all of these but they're books that are kind of on my radar they're books that I'm adding to my TBR and I plan to read them eventually hopefully I just like to share some new releases that I'm really excited for each month so the first book is meet me at the lake by Carly Fortune so in this book I think the two main characters met and spent like a day together and then they were supposed to meet up again at some other point and one of them showed up and the other one didn't and then now it's like years later and they run into each other again so I like the idea of it I love second chance so I definitely want to try to read this one I love the cover too like I want to own this book because I just think the cover is so pretty but Carly Fortune Fortune wrote Every Summer After. That book came out last year. I think that was her debut novel. And I had some mixed feelings about it. Like I really liked it. I was really enjoying it until you kind of find out the big thing of like what happened between these two characters. That one is also a second chance romance. And so once you kind of get like the whole story and find out what happened, that's kind of where the book got ruined for me. But I was really enjoying it up until that part. So I want to give this one a chance and just see how it goes. See if it's any better. Next is The True Love Experiment by Christina Lauren. I haven't read a Christina Lauren book in so long. I think it's been like two years actually. I think the last book I read by them was The Soulmate Equation, which actually is the book that comes before The True Love Experiment. So The True Love Experiment follows Felicity, I think is her name, or maybe it was Fizzy. I think that's like her nickname. I don't know. She gets introduced in The Soulmate Equation. She's the best friend of the main character of that book. And so in this book, you're seeing her story now. She's a romance author, but I think she's like never been in love before. And so she teams up with this guy who is trying to produce some show. It's like a reality show. And and he asks her I think to be a part of it like he wants to create this show around like the romance author finding love I guess I think that's what this book is about I'm pretty sure so he's like the guy who's actually like creating the show and like you know in charge of everything and of course she ends up falling for him instead so I really like Christina Lauren books I always just think they're really fun cute like lighthearted books you know for the most part and I really love the soulmate equation so I definitely want to read her friend's story I feel like this one's going to be a cute book too the next book is Our Scorching Summer by Kelson Denise Stone this is actually their second book I think it's part of a series of interconnected standalones so you don't have to read the first book I like to read books in order so I would like to try to read the first book before reading this one but this one sounded interesting to me trying to remember what it's about. I think it's friends to lovers, the two of them. I think have like this attraction between them, but they're also kind of off limits to each other. And on top of that, both of them are players, like they're not interested in settling down at all. So they just don't. But then eventually I think the two of them go on this like spontaneous vacation together and things just kind of develop from there. Obviously I love friends to lovers, but this one seems like it'll be a fun book to read, especially like I said, for the summertime and it's coming out in May. So I added it to my TBR as well. The next book is Per My Last Email by Juliana Smith. I haven't read anything by this author before, but I heard that this book is like a workplace romance. I'm pretty sure the main characters are supposed to be kind of like Jim and Pam inspired from The Office. I used to be obsessed with that show, like it was my favorite. I don't know too much about this book, I just heard that it's kind of inspired by that. It just seemed like a cute book, so I want to read it at some point. And of course this book also comes out in May. So the next couple books are some sports romance books. The first one is Neutral Zone by Tegan Hunter. This is part of the Carolina Comet series. I've talked about it before. They're just a fun time. They're quick, they're short, and they're just entertaining. I enjoy them. There's really nothing special about them, but I I still like reading them. So honestly, I feel like with this series, I've said this before, but the first couple books were enjoyable. Like I really liked them and then it kind of went a little bit downhill after that. So I'm hoping I enjoy this one too. So in this book, the two of them start talking to each other online, but like anonymously, I'm pretty sure. And in real life, they also know each other. And so I think he knows that it's her that he's talking to, but I don't think she knows. I actually don't really like stories like that a lot of the time, but I'm gonna read this one anyway. So yeah, this is the next one on my TBR. And then the next new release is Scoring the Player by Rebecca Genshack. This is also part of a series. I read the first one in this series. I still have not read the second one, so I need to at some point. And so in this book, I believe the girl in this book has a crush on the guy and I guess he somehow finds out and she's all like embarrassed about it but then he I don't know why but I guess for some reason he asks to fake date her like he wants to make a deal with her and fake date her I guess I guess maybe to help her out like to save her from her embarrassment and then he needs something in return I don't know what he needs but I just know it's going to be a fake dating college football book but yeah this one is also a new release that I'm excited for so those are 
those are all the new releases now going into some other books on my tbr obviously i want to start getting into some summer themed books like i said so the first one that i want to read is the summer of broken rules this one i actually don't know what it's about i just heard that it has some taylor swift references in it and it's like a good book to read if you're a taylor swift fan and that was enough to sell me on it so i want to read it i know that this one's ya and that's all i know it just seems like a cute book i saw it at the bookstore the other day actually i almost bought a copy of it but i decided to wait because i'm waiting on the audiobook from libby so yeah i'm supposed to get that in the next couple weeks hopefully and so i'm planning to listen to this one so this is the first book the next book that i want to read is spring tide by kai stevens this one is a college sports romance i think he's a football player and it's fake dating seems very similar to the other book I just described but this one I think the main reason why it's like giving me summer vibes is I mean the cover obviously but the book takes place in like a beach town I'm pretty sure so I have no idea if this is going to be like a good book for summer at all like I don't know if it has any summer vibes at all but just based on the cover it's like giving me those summer vibes so that's why I put it on my list but it's not taking place in the summer like it's taking place during their school year in college but it's on my list because I think the cover is pretty and it reminds me of summer so yeah. And then next, I would like to finally read Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I bought this book two years ago, like the week that it came out, and I still have not read it. But I recently reread Daisy Jones and the Six, and it kind of motivated me a little bit to finish her backlist and read her other books that I haven't read yet. So I would like to try to read this one, and again, it just reminds me of summer. I don't know if it is. I feel like I've seen people recommend this book as one to read in the summer, and obviously the cover also gives off like those summer vibes with the ocean and everything. Hopefully I'll get to this one this month because I've been trying to to read it for like two years now. Well, I haven't been trying, but I've been wanting to read it for two years now. So the next book that I want to read is the sequel to another book. So I'm going to talk about the first book first, even though I've talked about it so many times and I've said I want to read it and I still haven't read it. But the first book is Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. I was planning to read this one in April, actually, like I almost did, but then I just didn't. So anyway, so I'm hoping to get to it in May, mainly because I obviously want to read the second book, which is Yours Truly. Yours Truly just came out. I got a copy of it because I knew I was gonna want it and I was gonna want to read it and I don't think these match this one's shorter that's annoying like why do they do that she did this with her other series too I don't know if you can see them you can't you can only see the bottom but I have the friends and series right up here and the first two books are short like they're the same size and then the third one is taller like why would they do that again that's really annoying I just realized that right now anyway these two books are on my TBR part of your world yours truly this one's like an opposites attract age gap she's a doctor in the city he lives in a small town and then yours truly I think follows the best friend of the girl from the first book and she's also a doctor and I know that her brother needs a kidney and I think the guy in this book offers his kidney or something I don't really know I don't know anything about it I haven't really read the synopsis I think I've read it like once and I don't really remember it but I've heard like amazing things about this book everyone who's been reading it has been obsessing over it I love Abby Jimenez so I'm gonna hopefully read this one this is actually another one where I'm waiting on the audiobook from Libby and I'm supposed to get it within the next couple weeks so once I get it I'll hopefully read it and I already have the audio book for part of your world from Libby so I need to read this one soon because it's due in like a little over a week so I have like a week to get to that one and then I'll read yours truly after my next book is another one that's been on my TBR so many times before and that's before I let go by Kennedy Ryan this was on my April TBR and I was actually going to read it like I was gonna listen to it I had gotten the audiobook from Libby I had to wait like five weeks for it and I finally got it and I put it off like you can like postpone the delivery date of the book and so I did that and then they finally delivered it and I didn't know that you had to like claim the book by a certain time and I didn't claim it so I lost it so I had to like add myself to the list again and wait another five weeks for it so I still don't have the audiobook I'm still waiting for it but I'm supposed to get it in the month of May so once I get it I will listen to this book hopefully and if I don't get it then I'm just gonna give up and finally read it and not listen to the audiobook okay so my next books I'm just gonna keep bringing up books that I already talked about before but next I want to read Powerless because the fourth book in this series comes out in June so I'd love to read this one before the fourth book this one's a child friends to lovers and I've heard that this one's really good too and I still haven't read it so it's once again on my TBR for the month so next okay these next two books I know I'm not gonna read both of them but I want to get into one of them maybe I just I really want to get into a series in the month of May and these are the two that I've been thinking about so the first one is throttled the dirty air series I always talk about this book I feel like I've just been putting it on my TBR for like way too long now but I want to read it this is one that I have been thinking about reading a lot lately like it's very high up there I've like considered starting it a few times and I just haven't felt like committing to a series but I know that I want to commit to a series soon and just like read them all back to back so this is my first option to potentially read my next one is binding 13 the boys of Tom and series I feel like everyone just talks about this book everyone loves this series and I still haven't read it and I know I'm 
I'm gonna love it too hopefully I think I will but I just I haven't got into it and I really really want to I'm honestly kind of scared to go into it now because I feel like a lot of people it puts them in a slump I've seen multiple people say that that like after reading it they couldn't think about anything else and that worries me like I don't think I want to go through a reading slump like that like not right now at least but I also do want to experience reading this book because I feel like everyone says it's amazing and I keep bringing it up and I keep saying I want to read it so I don't know when I will but it's it's up there it's on my list it's a book that I really want to read like I said I'm between these two of like starting a series I mean like I want to read this one more like I want to read Boys of Tom and more but I don't want to go through what it's gonna put me through like I know it's gonna put me through a lot of emotions and I'm gonna become really attached to it and I'm gonna become obsessed with it and make it my entire personality and I don't know if I'm ready for that yet so that's why I'm kind of considering Dirty Air instead and like just putting this off a little bit longer but I really want to read both I don't know maybe I'll read both we'll see but yeah those are the ones that I'm thinking about as far as like getting into a series so my next book this one is just completely random to me but I had this like sudden desire to read The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. So I never read this book. I did read The Hunger Games. I read it like when I was in middle school. Actually, it took me years to get through The Hunger Games. I started it in middle school and I finished Mockingjay like right before Mockingjay Part 2 came out. So I was never really like that into The Hunger Games. Like I read it and I liked it. Like I thought they were good books and everything, but I didn't like love it. I wasn't like obsessed with it. Like I just liked it. I was definitely more like casual about it. And so this book, when it came out, like I honestly had no interest in reading it. I didn't really care, but obviously it's being turned into a movie and at first I just I wasn't gonna read it I was like I don't care like I want to watch the movie but I was like I'll just watch it like I don't care to read the book but then I saw the trailer the trailer just came out for the movie and like it looked really good it looked really interesting I mean I knew I was like gonna be interested in it like I said I did want to watch the movie but after seeing the trailer I'm like I kind of want to know more now like I kind of want to read it now so I think I might try to get to it soon mainly because I feel like I want to try to read it now I feel like if I were to wait and not try to read it as soon as possible I'm gonna end up deciding that I don't care anymore and I'm gonna end up not reading it but I also feel like I would need to reread The Hunger Games to read this one. I mean, I don't know if it's like necessary because I have read it before, but I just, I think I would like to. Like if I were to read this book, I would want to read The Hunger Games first. And that's something I feel like I'd have to commit to is rereading these books. So we'll see. Maybe I'll get to it eventually. Maybe I'll reread the entire Hunger Games series. I mean, I definitely would if I decide to read this book, like I'm going to reread the series. I just don't know if I want to reread the series, but I don't know. Maybe I don't need to. I feel like I need to. I feel like I couldn't read this book without rereading the series. Like I don't remember enough of it like all of my knowledge and like what I remember from the Hunger Games comes from watching the movies so like there's very few things I remember from the books so yeah I'll see if that desire to read this book sticks around and then hopefully I'll read it eventually but those were all of the books on my May TBR as well as some new releases let me know any of your thoughts if you've read any of these books or if you're planning to and if you liked this and you're new to my channel I would love it if you would subscribe and thank you so much for watching